Welcome back. Admittedly, this story is personal for me. Morris Dees is a hero of mine, maybe was a hero of mine. As a young man, I studied his work and wanted to go work for him. It's why I wanted to become a lawyer. I never did. But he founded the Southern Poverty Law Center and was responsible for putting the Ku Klux Klan out of business, literally. In the 1970s, the Klan turned the deed of its headquarters over to the mother of a black man killed by people inspired by Klansmen. The Southern Poverty Law Center was the gold standard in using civil lawsuits to go after neo-Nazis, the Klan, and other hate groups. Now, and sadly, the Southern Poverty Law Center has become a hate group itself. Thomas Webb Jurgens works for the center as a lawyer. He's charged with domestic terrorism and just got out of jail on $5,000 bail after an anti-police riot in Atlanta. He's one of 23 arrested for, among other things, launching fireworks and Molotov cocktails at police. The group showed up to destroy construction equipment, working on a police training facility. We'll keep watching the video of the riot while reading the Southern Poverty Law Center statement. An employee at the SPLC was arrested while acting and identifying as a legal observer on behalf of the National Lawyers Guild. The employee is an experienced legal observer and their arrest is not evidence of any crime, but of heavy-handed law enforcement intervention against protesters. You be the judge if these are protesters or rioters. The Southern Poverty Law Center is a group that is supposed to combat violent extremists. It is now defending violent extremists. It's stunning. The Law Center's website offers an interactive hate map. You can filter by state or by ideology. People the center doesn't like are listed as general hate. Yet missing is any hate groups on the left. Jane's Revenge that attacks pregnancy centers isn't listed. Antifa that's responsible for attacks on dozens of police officers isn't listed. None of the groups involved in the Atlanta riots are listed. Eric Erickson's here, nationwide syndicated radio host, writer of the internet's best conservative newsletter. Eric, it's good to see you. Look, I've, I've admired you for a long time. One thing I love about your show is it's never personal. So I may be a little bit despondent on this one, but am I right to be disappointed in Morris D's? Yeah, I, I think you are. Um, you know, the police arrested this particular lawyer because they said he moved from being an observer to a participant with the other people. They're being called protesters, but Leland, this one's somewhat personal to me. I, I, I have friends of mine whose church was invaded by these people because a construction worker on this police facility happened to worship with them. Uh, two different buildings have been firebombed. A youth facility has been firebombed by these people uh, because the construction company had built it. Uh, they, they rioted through downtown Atlanta. One of them shot a police officer, was killed and returned fire. This is not a protest. This, this is violence. Why is this being allowed in Georgia? I, I don't get it. Well, it, what happened is a lot of them came to the state. It, virtually, you should know like six people out of, I think now 50 are from Georgia. Uh, two of them in this latest incident out of 23 were from Georgia. They came in peaceably. They set up shop. They they kind of started squatting on the land peaceably, but it turns out they were working to booby trap it. I mean, they literally have pipe bombs around trees so that they can't go in and clear cut the land to build this new police facility. Uh, they only got violent once they got entrenched. Everyone ignored them while they were violent. Well, now it's they're having to root them out and it, it's become trouble. They've mm -hmm. booby trapped the land. They even dug pits and set fires hoping to have firefighters fall into the pits. It's kind of wild, and I, I can't figure out why the Southern Poverty Law Center that used to do such great work about domestic terrorism, which is a real threat from the left and from the right, would defend these people. Uh, some of the problems of the uh, Southern Poverty Law Center, Politico is a civil rights stalwart, lost its way. Current affairs, SPLC is everything that's wrong with liberalism. Washington Post, the state of hate. New Yorker headline, hardly a conservative group. The reckoning of Morris Dees in the Southern Poverty Law Center. The law center has a way of turning idealists into cynics. I, look, there's RICO statutes on the, on the books. There's all sorts of things that forbid charities from supporting and providing material support to any type of terrorist activity. Where are the feds to prosecute these folks? Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.